Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through number system. Today we will discuss the representation of real numbers on number line. We know that every real number has a decimal expansion. Rational numbers are either terminating or non-terminating repeating. While irrational numbers are non-terminating, non-repeating. Now, we are going to see the representation of the decimal expansion of rational numbers on a number line. If the decimal expansion has just one digit after the decimal point, then it can be visualized by our naked eyes. But it is easier if we use a magnifying glass. For example, represent 3.4 on the number line. For that, first draw a number line and mark the numbers. We know 3.4 lies between 3 and 4. So divide the distance between 3 and 4 into 10 equal parts. And mark each part as 3.1, 3.2, etc. to 3.9. The fourth part, after 3, represents 3.4 on the number line. It is not easy to visualize the decimal expansions having two or more digits after the decimal point. Let's see, how can we use magnifying glass for the visualization of such numbers? For example, visualizing 4.765 on the number line. Clearly, we can say that the number 4.765 lies between 4 and 5. So first of all, divide the distance between 4 and 5 into 10 equal parts. Now it is difficult to observe these points of division between 4 and 5. So take a magnifying glass and look at the position between 4 and 5. Each point represents 4.1, 4.2, etc. to 4.9. 4.76 lies between 4.7 and 4.8. Divide the distance between 4.7 and 4.8 into 10 equal parts. And each point represents 4.71, 4.72, etc. to 4.79. The point 4.765 lies between 4.76 and 4.77. Divide the distance between 4.76 and 4.77 into 10 equal parts. Mark the points as 4.761, 4.762, etc. to 4.769. Now, we get the visualization of 4.765 on a number line. 
Thus, the visualization of 4.765 on the number line using a magnifying glass is as follows. The process of visualization and representation of real numbers on the number line through a magnifying glass is known as successive magnification. Let's see another example. Visualizing 5.665 on the number line through successive magnification. We know 5.665 lies between 5 and 6. On dividing the distance between 5 and 6 into 10 equal parts, we get the parts as 5.1 5.2, etc. to 5.9. Since 5.66 lies between 5.6 and 5.7, divide the distance again into 10 equal parts. and mark the points as 5.61, 5.62, etc. to 5.69. 5.665 is between 5.66 and 5.67. So, by dividing the distance between 5.66 and 5.67 into 10 equal parts. We get the parts as 5.661, 5.662, etc. to 5.669. Now, we get the visualization of 5.665 on the number line. Thus, the visualization of 5.665 on the number line using a magnifying glass is as follows. In these two examples, we saw the terminating decimals. Let's see. The visualization of a non-terminating repeating decimal on the number line. Visualize 3.26 bar on the number line up to four decimal places. We have 3.26 bar equals 3.26. 2626 etc.
This number lies between 3 and 4. So divide the distance between 3 and 4 into 10 equal parts. And each part represents 3.1, 3.2, etc. to 3.9. Since 3.26 lies between 3.2 and 3.3, divide the distance between 3.2 and 3.3 into 10 equal parts and mark each part as 3.21, 3.22 etc. to 3.29 3.262 is in between 3.26 and 3.27 Divide the distance between 3.26 and 3.27 again into 10 equal parts and mark each part as 3.261, 3.262, etc. up to 3.269. 3.2626 lies between 3.262 and 3.263. On dividing the distance, into 10 equal parts. We get each part as 3.2621, 3.2622, etc. to 3.2629. Therefore, the sixth part represents the point 3.2626. Thus, the visualization of 3.26 bar on the number line up to four decimal places using a magnifying glass is as follows. Similarly, we can represent any real number on the number line. Let's recall what we discussed today. Representation of real numbers on a number line. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Visualize 2.3 bar on the number line up to three decimal places. That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting chapter.